Hi, my name is Mark Rogers, and if you're watching this video, you're thinking about participating in my thesis research project. I believe that this project is a possible solution to a very real problem facing the newspaper industry today. I'm a graduate student working toward my Master of Fine Arts degree in Design Communication at Texas A&M University in Commerce. Citizen Photojournalist is my Master of Fine Arts thesis project. So why am I making you watch this video? Well, let me tell you what my project is all about. The newspaper industry is in trouble right now. Several things happened that led to this problem. First, a very serious recession hit us in 2008. Workers all over the country were laid off. And what happens when you're laid off? Well, the first thing you do is cancel your newspaper subscription. There are many more important things that have to be paid for than a newspaper delivered to your doorstep. Along with the recession, came an incredible loss of advertising revenue that newspapers relied on to pay their employees and to make a profit. National advertisers cut way back on their advertising. Faced with less profits, local businessmen also cut back on their advertising budgets. On top of all this, the internet became a daily part of our lives and greatly affected the newspaper industry. People started to get their news via the internet and they loved it. No more ink stained fingers, no more paper to keep up with. So along with the worsened economy, the internet added to the decline of the newspaper industry. More and more people started to rely on the internet to get their news, reading it on their computers, their tablets, their smartphones. And this led to a steady decline in people actually subscribing to newspapers or buying them as single copies on newsstands. Why subscribe to the paper when you can get your news for free on your computer? Historically, young people would subscribe to the newspaper when they reached a certain age. They would continue to subscribe, for the most part, for the rest of their lives. This led to a continuous and gradual rise in circulation for most newspapers and an increase in the number of writers and photographers hired to cover the news. The term circulation is defined as the number of homes, that actually have the newspaper delivered, including the single copies bought from newsstands. But as the internet gained prominence, young readers found a new way to get their news and stopped subscribing. This started a steady but gradual decline in circulation and newspaper revenue that continues to this day. Along with the decline of circulation, the internet, through websites like Craigslist, took away a majority of the newspaper's classified advertising and took away most of their automobile advertising. This reduced advertising revenue and fewer number of subscribers caused newspapers' profits to fall. The result of the reduced revenue forced newsrooms to become smaller and forced newspapers to lay off employees in all departments, including the newsroom employees who actually write, edit, and photograph the news. Most newspaper photo departments shrank from between 30 and 60 percent in a very few short years. The Chicago Sun-Times even laid off its entire photography department. Now there are less photographers and they can't produce as much content as they once did. News photographers now have less time to spend shooting breaking news and events, having to concentrate on sports and local stories. Therein lies the problem. Less news imagery means less understanding of the world around us. So this is where you come in. Smaller newspaper photography departments have less time to shoot breaking news. You are a possible solution to this serious problem. Equipped with your smartphone camera, you can make a difference. You can be part of the citizen photojournalist photo department shooting breaking news when and where you see them. This project is designed for the average person with no formal photography training. If you are someone who has taken a college level photography class, then you're not eligible to participate in this project. I'm sorry to exclude you, but trained photographers would skew the results of this project. So if you have no photography training and a smartphone, please participate. You can make the difference. You can be a citizen photojournalist.